this video we're going to take a look at the undo history palette. To make the palette visible go up to the window menu and choose undo history. Every time you perform an operation that actually changes the pixels of your photo it gets added to the bottom of the undo history palette. So your most recent change is at the bottom of the palette and your oldest change is at the top. Elements won't add things like changing tools or changing zoom. And now if I perform another pixel altering operation like hue saturation, it will be added to the bottom of the undo history palette. You can also revert to a previous state by just clicking on the state that you want to return to. So say I want to go back to before I did the blurring on that flower again. I can just simply click on the state right before I did a blur and it will return me to that state. And when you return to a previous state, notice that all the states below that are grayed out and you can return to any of those states just by clicking on it. So if I click here, it brings me back to the state where some of um, blurring had been done to the flower but not all the blurring that I eventually did. And it will help you out of some jams I guarantee it. It's helped me a lot in the past. For lots more information on Photoshop Elements be sure to visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Until next time, take care.